The meter is the base unit of length used in the majority of the world. But it's a long time for people to agree on just how long it should be. Measurements of length were originally based on the human body, like the length of a foot or the span of a hand. This could lead to confusion as these lengths varied from person to person. In ancient Egypt, the base unit of length was a cubit, a measurement that varied depending on the length of a person's forearms, hands and palms. To avoid these variations in length, the Egyptians created a standard royal cubit. Copies of this cubit were produced in granite and distributed to standardize measurement. This system allowed construction to flourish in the region. Similar systems developed around the world, but they tended to be specific to a region, making trading difficult. By the 18th century, in France alone, there were over 800 different names for measures. The variances in these measures meant there were around 250,000 different units of measurement. A standard measurement needed to be found, the meter. It was decided that the meter should be a length that was the same the whole world over. A meter would be one ten millionth of the distance from the North Pole to the equator. This was calculated using trigonometry, and an official meter bar was created in Paris in 1795. Using the decimal system, other lengths could be calculated simply from the new meter. The meter became the international standard for length, but was redefined more accurately in 1983. We now define one meter as the distance which light travels in a vacuum in a little over 300 millionths of a second.